story to tell. Born in the late 1950s, the MiG-21 still exists and becomes the iconic fighter of the supersonic age. One of the features of this design was a tubular fuselage with the shock cone and front air intake did not see widespread use outside the USSR and ultimately proved to have limited development potential, mainly due to the small available space for the radar. Earlier fighters had no air intakes as a simple design choice to get straight line airflow into the jet engine. They didn't have to consider super important technology changes like radar, which killed nose air intake designs pretty quickly. The best place for a planned radar is up front in the nose cone with more room for a better radar field view. The MiG-21 was equipped with a rather small radar. The RP-21 Cypher mounted in the nose of the MiG-21 was very limited in its radar field, only 20 degree vertically and 60 degree horizontally. In theory, RP-21 Cypher was able to detect fighter-sized targets from a range of 20 km and lock on to them at a range of 10 km, though in practice, this got reduced to 13 km and 7 km respectively. The associated weapon was the Vampire K-13 Infrared Guided Air to Air Missile, also known as R-3S. Despite not a long-range radar, its RP-21 Sapphire radar helped to make MiG-21 a challenging adversary in the hands of experienced pilots, especially when used in high-speed hit-and-run attacks under GCI control. MiG-21 intercepts of Republic F-105 Thunder Chief Strike Groups were effective in downing U.S. aircraft or forcing them to jettison their bomb loads. Over the years, the West became more acquainted with the RP-21 Sapphire during the Vietnam War in Indochina, during the Sixth Day and the Jom Kippur Wars in the Middle East. Its combat record is not impressive mostly due to the primitive and overestimated early generation R-3R radar guided missiles. Over time, modern jet fighters have radar and other sensors. Radars were getting bigger and more powerful to spot targets from a distance and that was filling up space in the nose fast. Soon, the nose intake was just impractical and the nose was surely occupied by the radar and other avionics. The air intakes were relocated to other spaces like the wing roots or beside or under the fuselage. 